Hey guys, how y'all doing? Y'all in there right now, hopefully enjoying what we got going on. But I want to take y'all to where the magic truly happens. Take away the food. And we're going to talk about really how to make this rum. Follow me. Let's go. So we're here. I call it the Bat Cave of the only micro distillery in Acadiana. Do you know where it's at? No, you don't, but I do. And we're here. This is where, as they say, it happens. We take the raw sugar and incorporate it into what we call sweet crude, worked by Rank Wildcat. And so, David Moe, CEO, the guy who put this thing together. David, let me ask you. Well, first off, let's have a little sip. Cheers. To Cheers. Sweet Crude Rum. Thank you very and much. And to Rank Wildcat and also to Black Gold, which is also sold at Ease Kitchen. So, with being said, cheers and mmm. To think that this product all started with an idea of some friends getting together and saying, what if? David, tell us about the what if. Well, that's exactly what it was. It was uh, just kind of, um, you know, we all were fans of, of fine spirits and uh, conversation started and, and what if we could pull this off? Mm -hmm. And uh, so me and a few buddies got together and uh, we applied for a license and we got a license. And then it came time for R&D and uh -huh. we played around. We failed a lot of times, but we eventually, <laughs> uh, we eventually were able to make this product, which is exactly what we wanted to sell. Sweet crude rum. Um, it's really, it, there's no other white rum quite like it out there. Now, now, David, for those who are right now enjoying probably the shrimp, which I know you're enjoying that shrimp, let us know, this kind of rum was the type of rum that pirates actually used <laughs> back in the days of piracy. <laughs> it was not the Bacardi, ladies and gentlemen. Those commercials are false. It was this kind of rum. It came from around Haiti, right? That that area? Well, if we're getting back that far, okay. uh, the important distinction is going to be between British style rum and French style rum. Okay. The, the, the British colonists in the Caribbean realized that uh, uh, the blackstrap molasses, which is the byproduct of sugar processing, it's a very low utility product. Um, you can't really do very much with it. Right. But it had enough residual sugar that it would ferment. And if it'll ferment, it can be distilled. So English style rum is made from blackstrap molasses. Then the French came along and they decided to make their rum from sugarcane juice itself, which is the front end of okay. sugar processing. Uh, and, and so early on in our kind of, like I said, R&D phase, uh, we realized that we preferred French style rum to, to British style rum. So um, um, we started focusing on how do we make a rum that's more got the attributes of the sugar cane than of the blackstrap molasses. Uh, but yes, this would be definitely the kind of rum that the old wooden ship days, the, right. the, the navies, the pirates, That's all, right. this is what they were drinking. Right. Yeah. right Now, there's something very special that I find with this product that kind of comes close to my heart as being a patu. Uh, David, you want to extract on that for us, please? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, all of the raw material that goes into making sweet crude and black gold comes from the oldest family-owned sugar mill in the country. And what's that? M.A. Patu and Sons. I love, I love when he says that. In, in, wait for it, Patuville, Louisiana, <laughs> which is about 20 mile, 30 miles south That's of correct. Lafayette, yes. uh, towards the Gulf. It's um, uh, still in the heart of Acadiana, which as everyone knows is Cajun country. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, it, it, it uses sugarcane that's harvested all around us, which is which is a major point of pride for, for my operation. Uh, personally, I think it's outstanding to know that the sugar and the juice it never touches the mill. He takes it before it even takes on a journey to become what our sugarcane products become. He takes that raw and makes this. I mean, truly a true Louisiana product, but we're happy to say an Acadiana product. David, thank you for having us here. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of this, and we look forward to talking to you soon. Absolutely, always a pleasure, Alex. Thank you.